high growth emerging economies how it become a out performer for the global economy some of the emerging economies that have grown much faster and more consistently than others underlying these success stories is the pro growth policies and the stand out role of the large companies that are significantly driven the emerging economic growth and become an outperformer these economies have accounted for almost two third of the world gdp growth and more than half of the new consumption over the past 15 years this economic performance among individual countries varies sub substantially the two asian south asian giants india and china are the key emerging economy for the future world they are the driven economic agent for those subcontinent and that can also be impacted by the world economy the major emerging economies are india china brazil indonesia mexico south africa russia turkey and many other countries also involved these high growth emerging economies and the companies that look at long term track record of this 71 developing economies to identify that the key two factor that help explain their outperformance a pro growth policy agenda for the productivity income and the demand that has driven exceptional economic growth and the un under appreciated but nonetheless the stand out role that large companies have played in driving that growth the role of productive companies the key characteristics of those outperforming economies and the changing time that spill those potential new opportunities for emerging that economies and the global economy could receive an 11 trillion dollar boost if all emerging economies emulate the performances and become a great performer for the future some of the emerging economy basically managed to achieve the strong and consistent growth over the long period become a secret of, and what is the secret of their success if you analyze those gdp per capita of 71 economies over the 50 years starting at in approximately 1965 of this we identified 18 as an outperformer the seven economies achieve or exceed the real annual per capita gdp of around 3.5% for the entire 50 year period the threshold is the average growth rate required by the low income and lower middle income economies to achieve the upper middle income status over the 50 years period that is defined by the world bank the seven major economies are basically a china yeah. hong kong indonesia malaysia singapore south korea and thailand interesting fact is all these nation is the southeast asian nation all these so basically the future economy driven by asian giant the boom of economic prospect in the future decades is based on concentrated on south asia and the western economic power is shifted towards the asian area and is also found that asian giant is key factor for holding the economic growth for the future the 18 countries not only showed the exceptional average performances but also demonstrated consistency by exceeding the benchmark me benchmark growth rate in the least 3/4 of the 50 and 20 years respectively these outperformer have been the engine for the lifting 1 billion people out of the extreme poverty defined as defined by the world bank as living on less than 2 dollar per day rising prosperity in this country has not 
just reduce the poverty but also enable the emergence of a new wave of middle and affluent classes between 1990 and 2013 in this 23 years tenure the number of people living in the extreme poverty in the 71 emerging economies fell from 1.84 billion to 766 million people these outperformers accounted for almost 95 percent of that change and less than 11 percent of the world population is now lived in extreme poverty down from 5 percent in 1990 At the same time, the growing number of residents of these countries join the consuming class, that is, people with incomes high enough to become a significant consumer of goods and services. In India, for example, the number of consuming class households in last two decades from 3.4 million in 1995 to more than 35 million in 2016 and globally these important highly urbanized consumers that are more than become a powerful motor for the global economic growth and these outperformer accounted for almost half of the growth in household spending of all the emerging economy in the past 20 years while the 18 outperformer vary considerably spanning those different income levels sizes factor endowment and the region with the exception of latin america and the analysis also is concluded suggests that they are the shared foundation of two growth cycle of rising productivity income and demand the productivity growth and helped forge the big companies that have driven a significant part of gdp growth more than two-thirds of the world GDP, gdp growth is outperforming countries over the past 30 years that is attributable to a rapid rise in the productivity correlated with the industrialization and annual average productivity gain of 4.1 percent versus slightly 0.8 percent for the other developing economies and this rapid development initially drives the pro-growth cycle by creating wealth and boosting those demand which translate into more jobs and the capital accumulation that enabled by high rates of investment and the domestic savings is important for the contribution of, of economic growth each year and this 50 years long outperformer in this sample is a key factor for those rise in the people's standards and life standards and the investment as a share of gdp averages is the 30 percent of long-term outperformers and 20% for the recent outperformers. The difference in is a domestic savings as a share of GDP also was 10 to 30 percentage points higher. The strong productivity growth translated into exceptional income growth. The real wages and the benefit rose by an average 4.6% annually in a long outperforming tenure of emerging economies and china led the way with income rise by nine percent annually among the most recent outperforming countries real wages and benefited grew by six percent per year the essential feature features of those countries that has been their ability to achieve though macroeconomic stability at the time of global volatility by adopting a policies to fit their local context and changing the condition the government took those quick actions to ensure the rapid recovery of the volatile scenario in the asian financial crisis also happened in the late 90s and the global financial crisis in 2008 and 9 all those economies have been benefited from their ability to tap into global demand growth through those export market basically china is driven by those export market and has been giving them a greater economies of scale in 1980 the outperformer accounting for less than 10 percent of global inflows and the outflow of goods services and finance but in recent time they had increased their share to 20 
three percent or more. That's all for now. I hope this information will be useful. Important information is shared. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.